work has been halted at Gold One Mine in Springs today. This after owners received information that employees were planning to stage a sit-in. Last month, over 500 miners were stuck underground for over 72 hours when they were stopped from resurfacing. This was linked to a union dispute related to recognition. The company then uh, placed dozens of miners on suspension while police investigations or, or investigate a possible hostage situation. Bafedile Moirani is there for us and she joins us now live for the latest. Uh, Bafedile, uh, talk to us about the picket outside uh, Gold One Mine today. Well, these workers uh, who are picketing outside Gold One Mine here, it, these are uh, the workers who were supposed to resume duty this morning. And about 120 of them were allegedly removed underground earlier on after the mine management saying that they received a tip off that is, there's a possible um, planning of a sit-in. Remember that two weeks ago the mine has encountered a serious challenge after there was a hostage. The police have confirmed that what, that what, what happened uh, two weeks ago it was a hostage not a sit-in as majority of the workers were claiming. So uh, it's a sit-in because the mine also the, on the other hand is investigating kidnapping cases although no one at this point in time has been arrested. So the workers are saying that they are not on strike. That must be um, put across to say that they are not the ones who are on strike. The mine management is the one that has suspended operations saying that they are averting the situation that transpired here about two weeks ago. At the heart of it all, Maseho, it is the issue of AMCU, which is the Mine Workers Union to be recognized as the workers' representative. AMCU is saying that it has the majority uh, workers uh, that can be represented here. While on the other hand, the mine management is saying that they have to look into the close shop agreement that was signed about 10 years ago with the National Union of Mine Workers. This close shop agreement speaks um, to one union that has the majority being recognized in the mine. So that union at this point under gold one mine uh, here in Motio operation is the National Union of Mine Workers. So the mine management later this afternoon is saying that it's going to engage NUM to see that they cannot uh, map a way forward uh, so that they can uh, make speedy process when it comes to the issue of going to the ballot because now they are saying that the conflict seems to be flaring up at this point in time. Earlier on we spoke to one of the workers here who is also currently part of the 42 workers that have been suspended by the mine, Musa Kalipa. He is also the AMCO recruiter at the mine and he is saying that the situation as it looks, it may lead to what happened in Marikana if the mine management does not really come forward to reach an amicable solution and a solution which is going to the ballot. Masiho. Let us listen to what Musa Kalipa said to us earlier on. From the start, we were, we were doing a sit-in. Now we are not on strike. The man cancelled the shift. And the man is the one that did the lockout yesterday on a night shift. Even today, they, they still did the same of the lockout. Uh, even now, uh, they didn't even notify uh, the workers if the night shift is coming in today. But what, what, all I can tell you, all I can say is that uh, we want one, only one thing from Cold One. And we are not going back unless we give in the we get the organization rights and we go for a, for a ballot because now if, if maybe if I can say maybe you can ask me that uh, this thing is going to escalate and, uh, to be like uh, Marikan I will say to you no you won't be like Marikan because how how gonna be uh, AMCO members fighting uh, alone because now there's no any members of NUM you've been maybe if you knew you've been coming here from some from the from the 22nd you never even saw the uh, one red t-shirt you only saw the green t-shirt every day all right, so now how's the mine handling the issue of this union dispute? The mine management is saying that it has been corresponding um, with AMCU at this point in time. They are saying that they are also waiting uh, on National Union of Mine Workers, which at this point has requested more time before they go to the ballot. And now they are saying that they don't want to rush things so that at the ultimate 
some of the union members or some of the unions rather they take them to court uh, disputing the processes alleging the flawed processes at the ultimate hence they saying that at this point we would rather wait uh, and see that all the processes are followed we know that uh, two weeks ago when the workers um, were doing this hostage drama thing they had signed a petition which was submitted with other documents to the mine management where we understand that, that CCMA will spearhead the process of ensuring that AMCO it is recognized as the um, the representative of the workers in the mine. So mine management is saying that for safety reasons they were forced to hold uh, operations um, from yesterday and also again this morning they saw that it seems like the situation does not change. So let us um, hold operations and wait to see what will unfold as we are still engaging with the National Union of Mine Workers at this point in time. So we spoke to the head of legal earlier on Masiho. Let us listen to what he said to us. Uh, so in terms of the closed shop agreement, the, uh, the onus primarily le rests on the NUM. We've communicated, we've received a petition from AMCU last week, we forwarded that to the NUM and we've asked them to come back to us with a plan as to how and when they will conduct the ballot. Since then we've been in constant communication with the NUM, we've got further discussions planned later this afternoon. Um, we are at odds at the moment in terms of the timelines. Uh, you know, AMCU are obviously trying to get this done um, ASAP. Um, the NUM have proposed a slightly longer time period, um, and we we somewhat caught in the middle. Um, and our interest is to ensure labour peace on both sides. Um, we also need to ensure that there's a work environment that's stable and that's uh, free of any intimidation. Um, so there's a lot of moving parts in terms of establishing a date for a ballot. We have not come to a landing on that as yet, but we, we do hope to conduct that sooner rather than later. All right. Bafedila Moirani live for us uh, from Springs.